Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for October 2022. Hope you guys had a really great week. I am going to take a quick second here just to remind you that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone. Also keep in mind that the monthly readings are a bit predictive in nature. So if these events are not occurring for you right now, they may occur in the next few weeks. I am giving away another free personal tarot reading at the end of the month. And if you are interested in participating in that uh, giveaway, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel. Be sure to like the video and drop a comment. You do need to do all three. And the more times that you enter, the more likely you are to win. All right, so let's get started here, Aries. Spirit, can I have the energy of Aries for October? Okay, Aries, you are starting out with the King of Swords. It is crossed by the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Oof. Okay, so either somebody is making a confession or they're being confronted about some deceptive behavior. Let's see what's happened in the past. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles in the past. And why all this is happening is the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so somebody is upset about this. Now, it may have to do with money, or it could have to do with some kind of an offer or communication, something from the past here. Um, we'll clarify that to be sure, but I feel like there was deception involved with this, and now there's going to be truth delivered. Now, this may cause an, act, uh, an argument here. Um... But I sense that someone is upset about this. Let's see what's on your mind. Show me what, thank you. The Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is not what you wanted. Um, yeah, you things didn't turn out the way you wanted them to. You thought that things were going to, you know, kind of be smooth and easy um, almost magical, and it's turned out to be anything other than that. Let's see what is happening in October that you may not see coming. Yeah, you didn't get what you wanted in this situation for sure, Aries. Show me what's happening in October for Aries, please. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Aries. So we have the King of Wands in the reverse. Now, this could be a couple of things, Aries. This could be that um, your passion for the situation is dampening. It could also be a lack of action. So we'll, we'll definitely clarify this. How you're showing up. We have the devil. So there's something here about toxic behavior, toxicity. Now you may be sensing this in the other person, or it could be that they're saying to you that you are uh, showing toxic behavior. Let's see the energy coming towards you. Doesn't mean that it's necessarily true. It just um, is what is showing up in your energy here. The energy coming towards you, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is stuck energy. This is a, a very slow moving situation that has now crawled to a stop. The number three is relevant in some way. Let's see Spirit's advice. Time. There's a lot of time that has gone by. Spirit, uh, Spirit's advice, we have the Two of Cups. So there's a need to get on the same page. Uh, this, there could be a soulmate situation here. Let's see what your outcome is.
We have the death card in reverse. Now it's interesting because when I tried to pick that card up, it turned. So, which leads me to believe that it's the situation is a little bit flexible here. And you also have the star. Okay, so you might be wishing that uh, there's a transformation here. You still have hope in the situation. I don't feel like the situation is over. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, this is underlying energy here, Aries. And what this tells me is that um, there is a lack of a foundation in this situation. Somebody is not being cooperative and, you know, assisting to put this foundation in place so that it can be built upon. And that makes a lot of sense because we have this, this offer here, this, this one pentacle that there, there's something deceptive in that. Okay. So now this could be about work. It could be about love. Um, if so, the two of cups, if it's about work would be a partnership. But there's something here that's deceptive, and it has to do with somebody being uncooperative and not putting in that foundation. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Knight of Swords here? You are going to get the truth in this situation. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Thank you. All right, we have the Emperor reversed, and we have the Hangman. So this is a situation that may be a bit out of control. Someone needs to come in and take control of the situation. Uh, you could be dealing with somebody that's very controlling as well. Either way, you've dealt with this for a very long time. And this truth has been a long time in coming. And I, I see that here in the energy that's coming towards you as well. This this has taken a long time to, to reach you, this truth. And it, it is, you're all going to get the truth here, but if you're dealing with somebody that is in a supervisory position, if this is work-related, I do feel like that person is very controlling. And you may have had to deal with this person for a long time. You might be the one delivering the truth to that person or about that person. Um, this would be someone who is older than you. Let's see, um, why is the Seven of Swords here? Oh, it doesn't look like it's work-related for most of you. Because we just had the King of Cups come out. Could be dealing with a water sign. That would be a Cancer, or Scorpio, or Pisces. We also have Aries here. Um, so, we have the King of Cups, and we have the Magician. So... There is a deception here with regard to love. And it has to do with the manifestation. Something didn't manifest because there was deception involved. Now, I do feel like there is someone who is controlling, perhaps very manipulative. They do, believe it or not, they do have real feelings for you. But that being said they don't show their feelings very readily. They are kind of reserved with their feelings. And I do feel like they do kind of keep an eye on you. Um, they, they very intently watch you. Some of you are dealing with a boss that, or a supervisor perhaps that might, might have feelings for you. I can tell you, though, that there is some sort of deception that's here. And that's why this is not manifesting properly. Let's see why the Page of Pentacles is here. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? And that is very manipulative energy, by the way. The When you see the Magician in reverse and the Seven of Swords... That's that's very manipulative energy, especially with the King of Cups. So I, I don't really care for that energy. And so I feel like you're dealing with somebody that's they're they're very manipulative. 
And it could be just that simple. They could just be an extremely manipulative person and that's where the deception is. They may not understand that their controlling and manipulative behavior is what's keeping this from moving forward. And that's unfortunate. All right, we have the lovers. And we have the fool in reverse. So in the past, I do feel like there was an offer here, but somebody may have been afraid to bring it forward. So it was a big choice. There was a big choice here in love. And this is about love for most of you. So an offer was made, but fear is what is keeping somebody from moving this forward. It, it may have been rejected or put on hold because someone was afraid to take a risk. And that risk, that fear of the risk was because of controlling behavior. Now, it may be you that's going to tell this person something about themselves, or they may be confessing something to you. Let's see why the Queen of Swords is here in the reverse. Now, this is why everything is happening, is because of the Queen of Swords in reverse. So, you may have cut someone out. Um, we have the Ten of Cups reversed, and we have the Seven of Coins. So, somebody is angry, they're unhappy, and it has to do with investing Someone is investing, and I feel like it's just not manifesting, perhaps, the way they wanted it to. I, I feel like this is going to be an argument. It's going to culminate in an argument. It looks like the person you're dealing with is manipulative, very manipulative. And maybe when they don't get what they want, because I feel like you're afraid to get involved with this person... You, you see them as being controlling. I feel like you've known this person for a long time. And there's a fear of starting something with this person, even though it's been offered. That fear has to do with their behavior, their manipulative behavior. And so this isn't manifesting the way they want it to. And... I feel like either you've cut this person out or you are just not happy with them or they're not happy with you. This this feels more like your energy, though. It could also be that there's something else that has to end in order for you to be willing to invest in this connection. So if you're dealing with somebody who is being a bit manipulative and this is a secret connection or they're trying to start a secret connection and you're turning that down, it, you're basically saying, I'm not having it. This is not gonna happen until you end something here. I'm not investing. And you might even be angry with this person because of the way they're handling this situation. And that would be why there is no foundation here as well. Let's see what's on your mind because you have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. This is not manifesting the way you want it to. And I, I feel like... Um, I feel like you would like to be able to relax into this connection, but you can't. All right, so we have the nine of coins reversed and we have the high priestess in reverse. So this is what's on your mind here, Aries. So you're feeling a sense of loss here because this is not turning out the way you want it to or the way you'd hoped it would. And it's because there is something that's been revealed to you it could have been through your own intuition, but I feel like you're having a hard time trusting your intuition right now. There's some insecurities associated with this connection. It, this connection makes you feel insecure. It makes you doubt yourself. It makes you doubt your own intuition. 
And I think you're becoming aware of that. And, and I can see that that's not what you want. If this is a, if the deceit has to do with this being a secret connection, you don't want that either. You're ready for a relationship and you want this to be out in the open. You, you don't want to be kept a secret. So you would be upset about this. This is going to make you angry. Let's look at October. Um, why is the King of Wands in reverse? You could be dealing with a fellow, wire, uh, fellow fire sign, another Aries like yourself, or a Leo or a Sagittarius, but I really feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is you sitting back, not taking action in a situation, not really feeling it, you know? Your energy is kind of pulled back here. All right, so we have the Four of Cups. Nine of Wands, Six of Coins, the Moon in Reverse, and the Three of Coins. Now, in your underlying energy, the Three of Coins is in the Reverse. You're ending the month with the Three of Coins in the Upright. So that's a there's a remedy being applied to this underlying energy. Okay. So let's look at this. You're starting out the month here, Aries, disgruntled. And I can see it here. You're not happy um, with this situation. You're, some of you are just angry. And you're not willing to invest in something until, into this connection until something else has ended. Okay, you wanna invest, but you're, <laughs> You're looking at this and you're saying, you need to end something first. So there's a fear. Now you do feel like this person is a soulmate, but I feel like you're gonna tell this person a thing or two. You want the truth spoken or you're speaking the truth. This may lead to an argument. In any event, you are entering the month disgruntled. Your passion for the situation has dampened somewhat and you're, you're kind of a, a little bit bored with the situation. For a lot of you, someone is trying to involve you in a third party, or perhaps you're trying to involve someone in a third party. Um, it could go either way, but I feel like it's you for most of you. And if if uh, you're cross watching for someone and it the energy fits you, just place yourself where you belong. But. There's a lot of focus on a third party instead of it being that one love, you know, that soulmate love, which is what you were hoping for. That's what you had expected and hoped for. And I feel like you're hurt. You're very hurt by this and you want to resolve these problems. You want to put this behind you. So we see you coming into the second week of the month, mid-month, looking at how to go about resolving this. And this is when that truth gets spoken, either to you or from you. This is when, and it could lead to the argument. So that'll be about mid-month. Now, your desire is to have an equal give and take. And I do think you're going to put that out there somebody has been giving their attention to more than one person or more than one situation. Now, it could be that it's not another person. It could be that this person has addictions or perhaps they're a workaholic. Perhaps they party with their friends. Anything that interrupts the connection can be considered a third party. It doesn't necessarily have to be another person. And this is what is getting addressed. This is the what you're perceiving as the problem. You want to resolve it. And I there's an attempt to do so at the middle of the month. You're expressing you want a balanced connection. 
And I feel like you have this realization in the third week of October, there's a realization about just how hurt you are and about the nature of this connection and about what it is that you want from a connection. And I also believe that after having spoken the truth, and I believe this is you speaking your truth to this person, they're not going to like it. They're not going to like it. I can tell you that. But after you speak your truth, I feel like it's going to open their eyes, even though they don't like it. And the reason it's going to, it's going to be like an epiphany, but I feel like they do have feelings for you. They do love you. And I think you're going to, you're going to be very blunt and honest. As a result of that, that's the remedy to the situation. You then see a cooperation coming in by the end of the month. You, this person begins to realize and understand that they have to give as well as take. There has to be a foundation here. And I also see that if there is secrets, those secrets come out. But when the, if there's any secretive energy that comes out, it, it comes out, but it lends itself to a cooperative energy, a, a basis, a um, foundation is now laid because there's no more deception. So I really feel like, Aries, you speaking your truth is what is going to change all of this instead of holding on to it and smoldering and feeling resentful and hurt. Let's see why the devil is here. Now you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could even have strong Capricorn in your chart. But there's an indication, perhaps you feel you're dealing with something that's toxic or somebody could feel that you're, you're toxic. All right, so we have the Three of Wands, we have the Ten of Wands, and there's that Knight of Swords. Okay, so the Knight of Swords goes right back to this um, truth that's being spoken. So you're speaking the truth about a toxic situation. It, you've waited, you're waiting to, you've, you've been dealing with this toxicity for a long time. You've been waiting to resolve the problems. And here's the thing is that Aries, because you've waited, things have, they've gone from three to 10 very quickly. So it's just stacking up one problem after the other, after the other, after the other, because you aren't speaking your truth. So I think that you're finally realizing that and instead of waiting to deal with these problems, to deal with the toxicity, you finally say, I'm, the, I'm just going to come forward. I'm going to speak my truth. And so this is what I see you doing. And it looks like that is the remedy. Let's see why the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. Now, this is stuck energy. This is somebody who is stuck or has been moving extremely slow to almost not moving at all. <laughs> You know, all right, so we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Two of Swords, and we have the Ace of Cups. So there's that communication. So there's going to be communication back and forth. If they're at a distance from you, I do feel that they're going to, um, they may travel to, to see you, or there's a decision being made about this. They could be even deciding whether or not they're going to move. Um, they might be trying to figure out how to travel or to come in your direction. They may have felt stuck before, unable to do that. What I will tell you is that this conversation is going to put them in the situation where they now have to make a choice and they realize it. So they're going to have this conversation back and forth with you. This is someone who has been stuck. They haven't been moving forward. And there's a sense here that they're going to stall 
it's not going to go quickly. I can tell you that because this is not somebody who wants to make moves. And they're very guarded too. I am going to tell you that they're very guarded. But while they may act like they don't see this situation, they do. They real realistically, they do see the situation accurately. But I feel like they're not going to want to admit to that, at least initially. The truth is, they do want this connection. They do. And so they realize now they're going to have to make a decision here. Now, Spirit's advice, we have the Two of Cups. Let's clarify that. I feel like Spirit is telling you that there's a need to get on the same page here. Uh-oh. That card went in the floor. Hold on. Let me get it. Why is the Two of Cups here, Spirit? All right, so we have the sun. We have the two of pentacles. And look at that, the two of cups, clarifying the two of cups. So the first off, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. <laughs> so that's, that's beautiful. But it also represents clarity. So there's going to be clarity. Spirit is saying you need to get on the same page if you want to have clarity, then there has to be balance brought back into the connection and somebody has to make a decision about a soulmate. So you're, you're basically putting this person in the, on notice. You're putting them on notice. You know, I need clarity. I need a decision made about this connection. And that's what Spirit's advice is. If you want to be on the same page, you want clarity then a decision must be made about a soulmate connection. And it's going to bring balance into this situation. So let's see your outcome. Spirit, show me the outcome, please. There's that King of Wands in the reverse again, and that's your energy. The Chariot and the Three of Swords. Okay, so you may you may um, be moving forward, but I feel like this is, I don't feel like this is over. I feel like what's, um, now somebody could be moving, but I feel like you're going to initially move forward, Aries. I, I really do. And the reason I say that is because you're still hopeful, but there's there's pain here. And there may be third-party energy that is causing this pain. Now, remember I said it doesn't necessarily have to be another person, but there's unhappiness and an unwillingness to invest because of a situation that needs to end. You're going to let this person know that this is going to be painful. You're going to tell this person, look, I'm unhappy. This is causing me pain. This is not the way I thought things were going to be between the two of us. And I need this to transform. I need this to change or I'm moving forward. I do feel like at the end of the month that you're going to let this person know, look, I'm moving forward here. I'd rather move forward with you. But... I'm moving forward, period. I'm not going to be stuck. The end result is it's going to cause this person to have a realization. And this is where we see the foundation. But it's it's not going to happen until the end of the month or perhaps early next month. And also keep in mind, now, I want you guys to remember, you should never give up your power um, your personal power to a tarot reader or a psychic or a friend or a parent or anybody. Um, everybody has free will. So while you may be feeling this way, it doesn't mean you're going to act on your feelings. And while your person might be feeling a certain way, it doesn't mean they're going to act on their feelings. And that can be frustrating, but we all have free will. Um... I have been involved with somebody in the past that 
I would listen to um, my personal reader because, you know, tarot readers also have our personal readers as well. And I would hear the same thing over and over and over and see no results. And I could feel the energy was there. I could feel it literally uh, because we were very, had a very tight, close, you know, connection. And later when we reconnected, I did find that indeed this person had been feeling and had had the inclinations to do exactly what the tarot reader had been telling me the entire time, but did not act on it. So you are going to run into those situations. You are going to run into people who will resist those urges. And that's why I always tell people the feelings are not really the biggest part. You can have feelings, but it's what you do that matters. So use your best judgment here, but I really do feel that you're not happy in the situation. And I feel like calling this person out and speaking your truth, you're never going to go wrong when you speak your truth because you, your only other choice is to live in a situation which you have that's toxic to you and that diminishes you in some form and then let surrender it. Let, let spirit work with this person. I wouldn't issue ultimatums just to be issuing ultimatums, um, but I would do what's in my best interest. Okay, so that's just my ideas. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the tower in reverse. Now, this indicates to me that the reason um, you have kept quiet, the reason why this has gone on so long, is that you are trying to avoid a tower moment. I do think that speaking your truth may cause this tower moment. So you have to make the best decision for you. But sometimes things have to be shaken up and a tower moment will shake things down to the core because there is not that foundation in order that you can rebuild or not. But if you do rebuild, it has to be on a firm foundation. All right. So I'm going to pull an Oracle card and we will see if there's any further clarification. This looks like you are at a very important juncture in this connection. So I do wish you a lot of luck with this. All right, so, oh, you have number 10. Tens are about completion, and this is love. All right, so I'm going to read this directly from the book. And it says, my child, my wondrous one, it is time to celebrate, celebrate because love is calling to you to open your heart and receive my blessings. Choosing this symbol is a powerful sign that love in all forms is in your life now. There is a responsibility to this also. You must give love freely without conditions and love others because your heart is open. There is something else here to consider. Love can be a confusing force, too, and can sometimes ask a sacrifice of you. If your heart is aching and feels like it's broken, know that love has a greater love for you later. No matter where you are in your life right now, love has come to guide you into an important experience. Trust and love. Okay, well, I hope this has been helpful for you, Aries. Um, if you are interested in a personal tarot reading, the information is in the box beneath this reading. And if you are interested in participating in the giveaway, all you need to do is subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and drop me a comment. Until I see you in the weeklies, namaste.